Hey guys, it's Kaylee, and today on Hyperform, we are going to go over hip thrust. Those of you guys doing the remote coaching that are in the non-equipped version, all you need today is some sort of bench, whether it's the edge of a bed or even a chair. We've got two options for you. So the first option, you're going to lay down on your back, uh, about a 90 degree angle in your knee. So I've got both feet on the bench to start with. Knees are side by side. I could put my hands down on the floor right here, right? From there, I'm going to extend one leg up and point that toe away pretty aggressively. This leg is still involved, all right? I'm gonna drive this other heel that's on the bench down into the floor, all right? What that's gonna look like is at the top, my butt is super, super squeezed tight, still pointing this toe and coming right back down, letting it touch the floor, all right? So about five reps in a row. Knees are gonna stay in line. I'm touching my hips to the floor at the bottom, squeezing super tight, driving that heel into the bench every single time. All right, that's five on one side. You guys have a couple sets, couple reps on each side. I'm already sweating, that's definitely a burner. All right, your second object or option is going to be with some sort of weighted object. All right, so I've got a sandbag here. Now I'm actually going to face away from either my bed, my bench, or my chair. All right. I'm gonna get my shoulders propped up against the bench. Got my weighted object up on my hips. From here, kinda of get a little bit wedged, about a 90 degree in my knees. I'm going to have my hips down, thrust up, squeezing that butt to as much of a horizontal plane as possible. Coming right back down, barely touching the floor, squeezing up and coming back down, all right? Super fun if you have a house cat. I'm sure they would love to do that with you guys. If you have any questions about your scaling options, anything like that, leave a comment below. Be sure to share and subscribe for more videos. I'm actually going to start in my plank position. Okay, so my hands are going to drive into the ground. I'm going to go ahead and get my feet about hip width apart. 